and this is the this is the Francis Bellamy Memorial. Does any kid out there, any adult out there, know who Francis Bellamy is? <laughs> Does anyone in America really care anymore? They need, Rome really needs to put a new poster up for him. This is horrible. <laughs> really is Rome, New York. This is horrible. I mean, spend the 30 bucks, get a new poster. Okay, spend the 75 bucks, get a nice new poster. And make this thing weatherproof because <laughs> it is not weatherproofed. Francis Julius Bellamy, born 1855, Mount Morris, New York to Reverend David and Lucy Bellamy. Nineteen forty two Congress incorporated the Pledge of Allegiance as law into the official flag code of the United States and in eight nineteen forty five Congress officially named the oath the Pledge of Allegiance. About this time President F. D. Roosevelt instituted the handover of over the heart gesture as the salute to be rendered by civilians during the pledge. Outstanding. This tablet erected by Rome Lodge, number 96. Recognition of Francis Bellamy, a citizen of Rome, author of the Pledge of Allegiance to the flag which is used and honored by all Elks. The Elk Club, that is. And, sorry, I really can't see what I'm filming here. The Pledge of Allegiance is also known as the Elks Pledge by all Elks across this great nation. The Elks have also adopted a creed which states, Believe in thyself as well as in others. Protect childhood with tenderness, women with chivalry, old age with respect. Well, I don't know about respect. That's on its way of dying in this country. But chivalry, that's been dead in this country for, well, Almost 200 years. Enjoy the good things of Earth. I like that. Francis Bellamy. Pretty cool, huh? And I really can And see I'm in the back of the Rome Cemetery right now. I'm sure people that walk their dogs and take little strolls in the morning and evening probably know where I am. Uh, let me switch it around here. This is definitely the back. Really nice sky today. Really nice. I thought I'd get out today and do this because for a couple days after today, which is Tuesday, uh, it's supposed to be kind of crappy. But today is a picture perfect day with clouds. I can't say that enough. Clouds, clouds, clouds. Uh, I do love clouds. Clouds are always fascinating. A lumber in there, brush, make a good fire. Kidding. Sorry for the bumps. Not much I can do about that. The swamp is really overgrown. Didn't it used to be all that junk in front of it. It used to be cut clear, really nice. 
<laughs> Maybe the cemetery management can't find a uh, custodial staff to really take care of it. I don't know. Uh, Francis Smith, uh, born in, looks like Oton, Colton, Yorkshire, England, December 23rd, 1799, died in Rome in March 1882, Francis Smith, Jane M., his wife, Born in Yorkshire, England, January 2nd, 1808. Died in Rome in 1883. Uh, between the Civil War and uh, disease, uh, a lot of these people, uh, a lot of headstones in the Rome Cemetery are marked... Uh, you know, uh, early 1800s, uh, uh, right up to about eight, between 1882 and 1885. This is the uh -huh. Skillen Post number 47. So kind of a history buff. You might want to look that up, Revolution. Google it, research it. GAR, Union Defenders, 1861 to 1865. And as you can see, we had quite a few people. Company 3, Regiment, New York. Died April 6, 1895. These are all people, they, they were veterans of the Civil War, basically. Eighty-four years, 1895, that's good age. I'll take that. I've always had respect for the dead, you know? I mean, uh, I don't care if you like the person, hate the person, despise the person, whatever. Always have respect when they're dead, you know? Except for, you know, <laughs> well... <laughs> Serial killers, mass murderers. Democrats. <laughs> Come on, you people were expecting that. Erected by the Rome Fire Department memory of Philip Bickle, who was killed at the Great Fire, July 29th, 1866. Now, I wonder if the Great Fire, 1866, refers to the uh, Chicago Fire. Remember that? Was, didn't Chicago have a big fire in 1866? A little rusty on that. <laughs> 